All right, we are live. Welcome to the Stock and It Zombies. I'm Amy, also known as Jane Itma. And I'm Megan, also known as Just Run It. And this is episode 276. And we've now done a week and then another week right after that. Yay! So- Yay! Yes! <laughs> Hooray! We 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 set out to do it, and we did it at least for the first week. It's the it's the long term that gets a little it gets a little crazy. So, um, in this week's kind of um, itinerary or agenda to talk about, we wanted to talk about um, the new and exciting thing that we alluded to uh, last week, and also um, do some tips and tricks, and. Um, and then at the end, an exciting K, some exciting KALs that we're launching along with this thing that we're talking about first. So um, Amy and I absolutely loved, as we mentioned last time, um, all the engagement with folks as part of uh, ZK virtually and um, kind of went, you know, it would be fun to do this not just for a weekend. It would be fun to do it throughout the year. Uh, and then ZK could kind of be that community coming together when we're all able to get back together uh, in real life again, um, which knock on wood is hopefully sooner rather than later. Although um, the scientists and whatever are saying that it's getting worse, not better. Um, but we decided we were going to launch uh, the Zombie Knitting Network or ZKN. Um, yay. <laughs> So excited. Uh, So we're going to have regular VKNs, which are virtual knitting network or nights. See, now I've already flipped my brain to do the the VKN. Um, And those are going to, we're going to have some weekly during the week. um, And uh, we're also going to have uh, ones on the weekend, which will be a little more uh, topic, uh, topical, I guess would be the word, um, on topic uh, or on specific topics. Uh, Some guests speakers, a, um, a monthly guest speaker um, that, we're, that we're lining up and, um, of course, you know, infusing some excitement along with uh, some KAMs throughout the year. Yeah. yeah, so we're super excited about that. We're super excited about connection points um, that, pe- that we can make uh, within the community, uh, not just bringing people to Rochester, Minnesota in June, um, but bringing people face-to-face and kind of having a... Um, a knitting group online. Yep. Yeah. For uh, sure. Yeah. And so as part of that, there will be um, some, some free options uh, to be involved that will have uh, a free VKN a month, as well as one of those weekend um, meetups, whether they're KALs or whatever. Those, so there'll be two opportunities um, and you'll of course be able to KAL. Um, with, along with us as part of the accessibility that um, we know that some of the members of our community are struggling with. We are, um, we're going to try to avoid using Ravelry forums um, for the time being until that's addressed. Um, and Amy, you can talk about what we're gonna, what we're gonna do there because you've, um, <laughs> you've been geeking out on that, yeah. Yeah, so um, I know that my daughter uses uh, Discord uh, to communicate with her friends, and I use Slack at work. So I went into a deep dive on which ones could give us more flexibility, um, Slack or Discord. And um, a lot of the tiers um, that I wanted to use were not free in Slack. Um, but they were free in Discord, uh, and it does seem like uh, it's a robust community with a lot of interaction. So if we do have issues come up, we'll get help for those issues and things like that. So uh, Discord is what I've decided to set up. And so we'll have our own Discord server. Mm -hmm. And then when people find the link and join us on it, um, we'll be able to chat out there. Uh, As well as if you wanted to add each other from the network as friends, there's even a chance to live chat with people uh, like uh, instant messaging. So yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and if you just wanted to put something out into a particular channel, the channel is kind of what they call threads out Mm -hmm. there. So we'll have KEL threads, we'll have, um, we'll have chatter threads. And um, I don't know how open I'll have the, 
the channels and threads for everybody to start their own mm -hmm. uh, to start with. But if you have an idea, just let me know and I will add it um, and organize it. Mm -hmm. uh, what's another thing? Um, Discord is primarily a voice um, chat uh, application, but we've decided to disable voice channels in our Discord server. Um, and we ask in, in our community rules that if you would like to call somebody because it is an option in Discord, that you get um, permission for a, versus, via messaging first. Yep. Um, so, and that goes with uh, each time that you try to call somebody. Yep. So if you wanna chat with me uh, on voice about your idea for something, I need you to write me a message for me yeah. to confirm that I'm ready to to call for you to call me and then we can try to make that. And happen. I'm not completely, so I plan, I know that there are phone apps, but I plan to primarily use the webpage just like oh, yes. Ravelry. That um, was so another bonus is yeah. that you could just bring it up in the web and you don't have to download an app. You don't have to have a special desktop thing. You can just do it on the web. It's okay. Yep. Yeah. So I'm, um, yeah, I'm planning on that. And I don't know how calling would work in that context, um, especially if you don't sure. have the phone app. Um, but we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll figure it out as we go along as we as we have been with all of this technology stuff. So um, past that, that free level, which again, everybody can um, join those two free um, yep. VKNs a month. Um, there's other, um, there's other levels. I, I don't, I, we've got a web page. I can, I can show you the, um, screen share the, the web page. Um, We're using our technology. Here we I go. know, right? It's kind of scary. You're going to see something really briefly here. Um, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's got all of the 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 further information. We'll of course link that. Um, I don't want to go into too much context, but we accessibility is really important to us, and so um, we wanted to make sure that we had a free tier. That we've got like a two dollar a month tier. All of those fees are due um, annually, and you're, they're paid yearly. Um, and so it, it'll that'll just be a moving window as people jump in and join, um, and then you can see that there are um, varying levels. Of, of supporting um, because you know we've got uh, not only the technology that we have to support here and pay for, um, but we're we've got merchandise, we've got um, you know the um, the shipping for prizes. Uh, we we plan to have prizes. So again, you'll as each tier you can see that there's um, that there you're more eligible for prizes um, if you if you're paying into the community again because we're paying for shipping. Um, speaker fees, um, and again, our time and effort to coordinate. So uh, again, I'm sure there'll be lots of questions. There'll be lots of, of, of things that folks will bring up. I'm not going to jump into too much of the each individual tier, um, but suffice to say, one of the things that we wanted to make sure that we included in those membership levels were um, that if you're a part of this community, that ZK is um, is our is the part of our community, right? And so signing up and getting to come to ZK, there are each tier gets first access or second access or third access to it before it goes out to the public. Um, again, because we're, those are that's the community that we're we're supporting. So, um, did I miss anything? <laughs> Um, well, you had the brilliant marketing idea that the first 50 people mm -hmm. would get the tier, the $10 a month tier uh, pin mm -hmm. at $5 a month. So, yep. If, yep. so if you, you want to yeah, join the $5 at, just had a patch, which we'll be mailing out later this, this year after we get uh, an idea of numbers and, and can get that all ordered. There'll be an exciting unveiling of our um, ZK and logo, and mm -hmm. um, then those will be mailing out probably closer to September. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you can get the enamel pin, which is the ten dollar a month um, uh, benefit at the five dollar level if you if you're one of the first fifty to sign up. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was a lot. Um, we said we were going to try to keep it short and I see a couple of people, it looks like Janice and Pat have joined us live. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they subscribed to the channel apparently. <laughs> yes. 
So they got a notification and they joined us, which is exciting, but that was a lot of blather. We'll get to the tips and tricks. And then again, as I said, at the end, we'll talk about those KALs, which I'm super duper excited about. Okay. Yeah. So since we kind of chitty chatted there quite a bit, I am going to zoom through these. Uh, okay. No pun intended. <laughs> so my, um, my tip that I've been sharing uh, on Instagram and um, just in my general life is that I have a lot of whips. Um, they are never ending. I want to cast on all the things. Um, but at this very moment, I've decided that I cannot cast on a new thing until I finish three objects. So um, my last three objects or my current, I should say, current three objects are all yellow. Uh, so I had finished this sweater. This is my Cunningham Falls. Mm -hmm. Out of the Oh Honey colorway. From Stitcher. Yep. From Spain. La, yeah. A la ZK so, 2019? I 2018. So. Don't ask. <laughs> they all <laughs> blend together to me. Um, yeah. But I finished this one. I just have to weave in all the uh, accidental tassels, I guess, and close that hole yep. uh, in the armpits. But that's weaving in ends to me. That's not. Mm -hmm. And then I finished my jubilance okay. kerchief. So now you can see it in all of its glory now. Mm -hmm. A um, square. Yeah, it's a square. And then, um, yeah, she had a, a bunch of cute ideas. So like basically creating a, a triangle mm -hmm. and tying it. Yeah, very cute. So yeah, it's, it's got plenty. Now I will say that I didn't have enough for the tassels that I saw on her sample. So that, that was probably a difference in gauge, but I, so I'm a little sad that I don't have enough for tassels. Did so if make anybody like makes socks and has enough extra to make tassels, do you uh, want you know somebody who would buy the extras, huh? Do you want them to be the same color? Could you put different color tassels? Well, I could, but I, I like the way it looked with them being the same color. Got it. And then last but not least, I have my mm -hmm. summer shanty. Are you through the back of the neck V? Yep. I am. Woot woot. I can show you I have just a few color changes left. I like the back side of that too. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so the, the process is that you're just focusing on those three, right? You're not allowing yourself to cast on more things. Um, well, you're not allowing yourself to work on other things. It's just those three. Well, I do focus on those three, um, mm -hmm. because I know that when I get them done, I can cast on something new, mm -hmm. but I have had other things take my attention, obviously. Okay. but not a new cast on. <laughs> so that's, I guess that's the one rule that it's like, okay, just don't cast on anything new. So if those three aren't floating my boat at the moment, I might grab a sock or something, but. Um, you and have a minimum minute. amount of time that you're supposed to work on something before you're allowed to, oh, squirrel. <laughs> oh, um, I am just focusing on them a certain amount every day. Right. So they're the first project I pick up yep. if I'm going to do something. I think the only reason now I've brought in the sock is because the kerchief is done. I don't have a small enough project to travel with. Mm -hmm. um, I have a couple different colors and balls in there with this summer shandy project. And I don't want one to accidentally roll away while I'm out and about. Mm -hmm. So um, I have been taking a sock with me when I travel, you know, car rides or whatever, or walking. Mm -hmm. Pat so, says it looks like her summer shandy. So you're almost twins. Almost twins. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. And then, yeah. So that's my tip for this week and, uh, or this month, and I'll have, um, something else next month. Excellent. Excellent. All right. I'm unpinning you. Oh, I was, I was bigger. You I wasn't were. bigger on my screen. So. You were in full effect. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to pin me. Okay. Um, so I have lots of tips and tricks. Um, I think the one that has um, most like smacked me in the face recently, and I think it's because Amy and I have been on these Zooms with each other, is that Amy, like any 
um, mentor slash mother slash whatever is always quick to remind me of my evolution as a knitter. <laughs> um, so she always points out that I used to call lace knitting, holy knitting. <laughs> and why would you put holes in your knitting? Um, and so I learned a trick as part of that, that if, if a pattern calls for a yarn over and you don't want the yarn over, you can always knit through the back loop and then it doesn't cause there to be a hole in it. It's only knitting through the front loop of that traditional yarn over that um, creates the holes in your knitting. Um, but as my evolution as a knitter, I'm now knitting full on <laughs> <laughs> lace tops. Like this is the whole thing is a lace top. Um, this is the Wild Wind um, mm -hmm. by um, the design duo of Wool and Pine. And um, in some ways I have grown as a knitter and I'm now knitting, you know, full on lace tops, but in other ways, I'm still very much the same person. So like it sat there waiting to be seamed up for a very long time <laughs> because it doesn't feel like knitting, right? It's finishing, yes. it's, it's not the, the knitting part. Um, and so this got, got finished up, uh, finished objects are like the, I'm the absolute worst at that. And I don't know if it's com it comes from designing, but taking the finished object photos after I actually have finished all of that finishing work is like, yeah, it's like pulling teeth. I, I absolutely, <laughs> I'm so struggling with that right now. Um, but you, it's funny that you mentioned tassels in your, um, in your, yours, because this is supposed to have tassels on the bottom. And mm -hmm. I, um, again, I'm not to tassels yet. So maybe someday you'll be like, Megan, you, you didn't use to like tassels. Uh, but for now, I'm like, no, I'm not putting tassels on the bottom of this top. I think it's absolutely darling on the people that she has modeling it and wearing it. I just, I, I'm not a tassels person. Like I could see my cat attacking me. I could see getting <laughs> caught in the door or on a bicycle or like, I just, I can't yeah. put tassels on my top. I don't know if I would put tassels on a top either. Yeah. Accessory is great. Lots of tassels, a blanket Toilet, shirt. Right? Like, I don't, you know, like, I don't, I'm not going to want to have to go like, Oop, I'm not going to get my well, tassels in the toilet when I go to the bathroom. Like, I you just, made that top longer than it is in there. Right? I did. I have a really long torso. So this is kind of a funny story as well. And I know that we don't have a lot of time, but my husband was measuring us for paddles because we're getting a canoe. And naming the canoe is a whole different story. I'm trying to great big sea names um, mm. of like Captain Kid, or I know it's supposed to be after a girl, um, but are named after a girl, but um, or Jack Hanks or mm. um, Gideon Brown. Anyway, uh, and he is like, this is wrong. This tape measure is wrong. I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, this is like, you have the same length torso as I do for the, for the paddle <laughs> handle. And I'm like, yeah you're six foot two and I'm five, seven, and it's all in my torso. Um, and, and our, it's all in my torso and it's all in his legs. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, I added an extra repeat their instructions on how to add an extra two or three. And I think I added four because oh, um, wow. I have a really long torso and I'm not really a crop top wearer. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, it's, but get outside your comfort zone. That's my tip. You're all like, what is her tip? She's just talking about her top. Um, but get outside your comfort zone because you don't know how you're going to evolve as a knitter, right? Like I figured out that I can add links to the to tops and, and make them customized for me. And I figured out that I do enjoy lace um, and the look of it. It was just kind of when I first started. So if you're somebody that's just knitting socks or just knitting shawls, or I haven't tried that. I'm going to try intarsia for the first time here pretty soon. I'm helping somebody, um, the mixed tape test knit for, for Jesse, mm -hmm. um, uh, Nitty Joe on Instagram. Um, and I'm going to, as part of the KAL, I'll serve it up to the next part here, Amy. Okay. Um, okay. But as far as the um, KAL is concerned, I'm going to, um, I'm going to knit my first pair of all over color work socks, which I've not done, which is like, I've knit all kinds of color work sweaters. I've knit all kinds of socks, but color work socks, I've not done. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to be addicted because they're kind <laughs> of like mittens, right? Like mittens yeah, are yeah. super fun to knit, um, color work. So color work socks. A lot more stitches in socks. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, I would say that fun. I would say that your you did make moccasins that were color work. Yep. March. Yeah, but they were DK. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So we'll yeah. say this is your first fingering weight footwear knit. <laughs> Whatever. Um, true enough. True enough. That's true. Those are those were very much like mittens because they were DK. Um, but so yeah, as part of the Zombie Knitting Network, we are going to have two KALs going on this month. Um, get extra bonus points if you can if you do them both which I think are totally doable mm -hmm. um, because one is kind of being served up to you a clue at a time hint hint mm -hmm. um, a mystery KAL and the other one you could just kind of um, you know knit through August and September and then by the time October comes around you can have a nice pair of warm socks to put on your feet very um, cool. yes very cool so I will um, again do my screen share to show you um, the, the patterns. And then Amy, I'll cue you up to talk first. Okay. Yay. So we're gonna do the, I believe, I believe she is Nikki, Nikki the gnome, um, yep. the mystery at gnome knit along. Yay. Yay. I'm so excited. Sarah is so fun. She was part of um, uh, ZK. And uh, she um, has another fabulous gnome along going on. And that starts on August 6th, as you can see here. You can't see what it is yet, um, but we've got exciting um, Zooms planned where we can, we can cast on and we can at the end show off um, the, the finished gnome. And um, if you were part of ZK, you know that she's got a story for all of them. So it, it would be really fun to show Sarah your knitted gnome and tell the story of your gnome. Right. <laughs> so, um, Nikki, but your Nikki is a little different. So, yeah. 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 I um, am excited for this. And, and so uh, everybody, uh, you know, if you, you're interested in the pattern, um, we, she had some early on coupons, but if you haven't gotten the pattern yet, um, she is providing us with a, pattern uh, code for 25% yep. off until the start of the KAL, I believe. Yep. Yep. We'll have those details. Um, again, we'll for sure have them in discord and we'll send them out in um, the email to the members. Mm -hmm. And um, again, one of that, that one of those free, um, one of the free member ones will be a KAL um, zoom. So we need yep. to come up with a better term. Like I keep on wanting to call, call them virtual knit nights and they would be not necessarily at night um, and not necessarily like the chat anyway. Right. We'll come right. up with a better term. Yeah, we'll, we'll put our heads together. Group meeting um, that isn't like the monthly meeting. Um, so my color work socks that I'm super excited about um, knitting are the Everlasting socks, which were part of Paper Daisy Creations, uh, Lisa K. Ross's uh, Socks of Wonka. Uh, so these look fabulous, you can see, with self-striping. So mine are definitely going to be pulling out some self-striping and a solid out of uh, my stash. Uh, and as uh, Amy mentioned, both Lisa and Sarah are offering us fabulous coupons to enable us to, to join. And um, I believe I have coordinated with Julia, which is best for nit knitterly things, that she's going to be uh, KALing out on Instagram as well. So... Um, she, we both kind of enabled each other. She sends me um, self-striping color work or self-striping yarn every month because I paid her to. Um, <laughs> and so I'm planning on using that, uh, one of her fabulous self-stripers that come to me on the, on the monthly and um, picking out a salad. So yeah, as you can tell, Amy and I are super excited about the KALs. We're super excited about um, zombie knitting network. Uh, mm -hmm. And thank you to everybody that joined us um, live streaming. <laughs> We've got hello from New Orleans uh, from Karen and uh, Tracy W says hi as well. So um, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's exciting stuff. All of this technology. I'm glad that it's making our community feel closer, tighter knit mm -hmm. and um yeah, it's a uh, away we go. Awesome. So um, yeah, get ready to see all of this launch out in the uh, threads and forums and Instagrams and whatever. Mm -hmm. And 
Um, you heard it here first, yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, if you're, yeah, if you're watching live, you heard it here first. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. All right. Bye. Bye, Ufta.